Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Mona Project. We here at the Mona Project are continuing with our series of videos with uh, respect to inspiration, education, uh, information, guidance, advice to converts, um, Noahides, and returnees to Judaism. We are in the, the days of uh, Chol Moed Pesach, the intermediary days between the first two holy days of Passover and the last two holy days of Passover. And uh, still with the, uh, uh, with the taste of that Seder uh, in my mouth, I'm reminded of uh, something that Rebbe Lev Yitzhak of Berdyshev said. Uh, at first, um, it sounds a little weird, like many statements of the great uh, Gdolim, the great, uh, uh, the great leaders of the Hasidic movement. Sometimes they will say things, and at first glance they'll say, what? Um, but at the um, at my first seder, I was with a, a Hasidic family, and they were very kind and loving, and it was a joyful and joyous uh, seder, and uh, it was a real um, a real inspiration, and with my heart and my soul was just filled with such wonder, and. Um, Someone mentioned something in passing about the stubbornness of Pharaoh. Um, God hardened Pharaoh's heart again and again. And um, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdachev was once quoted as saying, I envy Pharaoh. You're thinking, how could this tzaddik, this big godel, this Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev, one of the greats, uh, the Torah giant, he envies Pharaoh? What's going on? Rabbi Levi Yitzhak was quoted as saying, how I envy Pharaoh. What a, what a kiddush Hashem, what a, what a sanctification, a glorification of God's name, um, his stubbornness begat. Um, it takes a guddle, it takes a, a great person to see that, the stubbornness of Pharaoh, his, uh, his refusal to stare facts in the face, to see when he was down, even though it was brought on by the Creator. Um, it's seen even as seen as a bad thing. Um, he's seen as not a friend to the Jewish people. But what a sanctification! What a kiddush Hashem! Uh, a sanctification of God's name was because of his stubbornness. Um, yes, God hardened his heart, but he was no great guy, and he uh, he added his own little. Uh, uh, twist. He took it a little overboard, maybe. Uh, but a great Torah sage like uh, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev was able to see that, like everything that comes from God, everything uh, is for the best, even the stubbornness of, uh, uh, of Pharaoh, which caused great suffering. Ultimately, was for the great. It uh, was for the greater good. His stubbornness brought plague after plague after plague. And even after he kicked the Jews out of Egypt, chased them to the Sea of Reeds, saw the waves part. His charioteers followed them through the the, the, the waters, never gave up. And then his horses, horse and rider, were thrown into the sea as it says uh, in uh, the Song at the Sea, horse and rider hurled into the sea. Um, that stubbornness, as nasty and as cruel as it was, served the ultimate good of glorifying God's name, gave us the great uh, lesson of Letzius Mitzrayim, the exodus uh, of Egypt, which eventually led to us being at Sinai, led to the Torah, 
and led to the creation of the Israelites uh, and eventually um, what we know as the Jewish people now. And that's why Rabbi Levi Yitzhak said, How I envy Pharaoh. Uh, what a great Kiddush Hashem uh, that his stubbornness begat. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.